Hi, so today we're talking about Sofia Juarez, Juarez um, who is a four-year-old child. At the time, she disappeared in 1998. This one is definitely confusing because we really don't know anything, but you think you know what's going to happen, and then it's just not. I don't know. You'll see when we get into it. I'm sure you've probably heard of this case. I feel like it's been talked about um, a decent amount on the internet, or at least on YouTube, I should say. Um, but all the links I use for research will be down below, and let's go ahead and jump on into this. So, Sophia was born on February 5th, 1998, to Mom Maria. Um, her father, who lives in Mexico, was never in her life, and he never met her. She lived in a household with many other family members, along with her mom, brother, grandma, and her grandma's boyfriend, Jose Lopez Torres. Um, so, Sophia was described as a loving and vivacious child who loved to play with Barbies, put on makeup, and eat at Burger King. Her mom said she was a very shy child and didn't like to talk to strangers, even in the presence of people she knew and trusted. She was only four years old when she went missing on February 4th, 2003, just one day before her birthday, and she went missing in Kennewick, Washington. So we're going to go into the description of her and what she was last seen wearing. So Sophia was of Hispanic descent and weighed about 33 pounds and she was three feet tall, black hair and brown eyes. At the time she went missing, she was missing her top four front teeth. She also has a mole under her eye, a birthmark on her lower back, and pierced ears. She was last seen wearing a red lion, a red long sleeve shirt, blue overalls, white Converse sneakers, violet socks, gold hoop earrings. And I do believe that there are age progression photos for this case, and I will have them include throughout this video. Because her body was never found, and so we don't know if she's still missing or what. Or if, you know, something more sinister happened. So Sophia was playing in her bedroom with her brother between 8.15 and 9.15 p.m., when Jose was heading to the store and Sophia wanted to go with him. She asked her mom if she could go and her mom said yes and gave her a dollar to spend at the store. The store was just about five blocks away from their home and Sophia ran off after Jose. Maria assumed she caught a ride with him because she never came back inside. Jose arrived back around 9.45 p.m. but he didn't have Sophia with him. When Maria asked, Sophia never got in the, um, in the car with him, didn't know she was coming, and left without her. After searching the area and the house, they called the police and filed a missing persons report. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, Jose definitely has something to do with it. Because how do you just not notice that there's a child behind you? But I guess that she had asked after he had already gotten in the car and had taken off. But in my head, I'm just like, this is a little weird maybe something weird is going on with him, but then at the time, between 8.15 and 9.15, say it was 9.15 p.m. when he was leaving, he got back at 9.45. Realistically, did he have time to do anything? So I was like, okay, Jose, Jose feels weird just because he could have been the last person to see her and we're not really sure. But, let's go on. When they arrived, police sent out an Amber Alert for her. The alert lasted 36 hours before it was canceled without finding any trace of her. Volunteers and firefighters came to help um, in the search for her. They found a pair of children's overalls and shoes, but Maria says they did not belong to Sophia. So, not confirmed by police, but a 10-year-old relative claimed he saw Sophia walking down the driveway with a strange man dressed in all black, but the police didn't look into the lead further, and this could be because he was so young. Police were able to rule out her estranged father and Jose. Maria says Sophia wouldn't have left with a stranger, and it must have been someone she trusted. So, when I heard the claim about the from the 10-year-old, I was like, okay, maybe it's not Jose, because I can't imagine that this child will just make something up. And maybe it was someone that Sophia knew, but 
Um, the 10 year old relative didn't, and so that's why it was a stranger to them. And maybe the mom knew this person, but because they really didn't have much details other than they were dressed in all black, we couldn't really figure out who they were. And she, her father was never in her life, and if she just didn't talk to strangers, she wouldn't just go with her father that randomly would show up if he was even able to find out where she was. Police started looking for a person who owned a white panel van, one seen in the area around the time of Sophia's disappearance. They looked into a neighbor, a 35-year-old Kevin D. Ireland, who had a history of minor sex crimes. Police searched his home and found a white or a tempo panel van similar to the one they'd seen. They'd been looking for her. They'd been looking for her, I'm sorry. He was a person of interest, but not a strong suspect in the case. So they began looking for a second vehicle in 2003, a mid-90s model full-size faded orange van. The license plate has double J's in the numbers, and the driver was a white male between the ages of 35 to 40 with thick, with a thick blonde beard. This van was also seen in the air around the time that Sophia went missing. Police followed leads that led to searches of homes in the area, but found nothing. One drug informant mentioned Sophia's body could be found on a farm in the silage area behind the house on the property. And when the police located the farm, it was north of Process in Benton County. And they brought five cadaver dogs and a forensic anthropologist to the site. The area was searched for eight days, but nothing was found. Another reason you might have heard about this case is because there was actually a TikTok video that would go viral. And KPD tried to get in contact with the person um, that was seen in the, talk t- in the TikTok. The woman in the TikTok shares a resemblance to Sophia, but the woman's family said she was not her, and DNA evidence would confirm that she was not Sophia. A $10,000 reward has been offered for information leading to the discovery of Sophia. So, Maria would move to Sacramento, California in 2008 to start a new life with her boyfriend and her baby boy. She went on to have another child. She passed away from health complications at just 26 years old in January of 2009 without ever knowing what happened to Sophia. Police have said her case is still open, but they haven't received any new leads. If you know of anything that could be of interest or help the police department, the phone number is 1-509-585-4208, and her case number is 0303751. That information will be on the screen. So like I was saying, you think you hear Jose and how he could have possibly been the last person to be seen with her, and you're thinking, okay, it's Jose. And then you realize that Jose was rolled out, and then you hear that this 10-year-old child is saying that they saw a stranger taking Sophia, but then it's not confirmed, and then we know that Sophia doesn't just go with random strangers, so who could this person have been? I feel like they should have looked into that a little bit more. I understand they wouldn't want to because it is a child, and maybe the child's imagination is just getting away from them. But it could have been something. Um, I just, I don't know what to think. How could she have gone missing from the time she went outside to 9.45? Because that's when he got back. She obviously wasn't there. Jose got back and she wasn't there. So someone must have been in that area. It must have been a crime of opportunity or maybe they were had been watching her. Like it was a very fast crime to have happened. And it's just wild that we just don't know. I hope that maybe she is still alive. Um, but this was in 1998. And I just, with no leads, it's just, I don't know. 
I just really hope that the family will get some sort of answers, um, whether or not she is alive or not, that they can put her to rest or bring her home. And like I said, I will have the age progression photos on the screen, as well as all the contact information if you have information that could possibly help the police. But what do you think happened to Sophia? Do you think she's still alive? Do you think it was Jose? Do you think it was um, a strange man that was seen by this 10-year-old relative? Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for listening to Sophia's story. Bye!